Hi there. My name is Jackie Murray, and we're here for your class, MTI 563, The Differentiated Teacher. I'm going to be your guide through this class. My name is Jackie Murray, and a little bit about me first, so you we get to know each other a little better. You can also see more about me under instructors over here, but I've been teaching K through 16 and teachers for about 35 years, all different levels from preschool, infants even, to uh, college level classes like we're doing here. I enjoy it immensely. I learn as much from you as you'll learn from me. I, I do a lot of writing. I write for a lot of online e-signs. I work with ISTE on reviewing applications to a variety of their programs. I have over a hundred books and publications, books, booklets, that I uh, share with teachers on how to integrate technology into your classroom. It's a subject I'm very passionate about, or I wouldn't have written all those books on it. So I hope you ask me lots of questions, and we both learn a lot from each other. So this class is how to differentiate in your classroom without getting heartburn from it. All the ways you can do differentiation for the varied needs of your students without having to add extra layers and extra time to your work as a teacher. Because I, I know from my years in the classroom, you don't have that time to suddenly say, okay, I'm going to add this for this sort of student and this is the way I'll teach lesson for this sort of student. It, it doesn't work that way. So we need an easier way to access all of our students where they learn, not just the general normative students. So that's what we're going to learn here. You have the general overview video, which if you haven't watched that yet, just stop this video right here and go back to that first one. It's, it's ahead of week one in this stream, so you'll see it right there. It's, there's also a stream there that is for all the videos you'll be watching, so don't mix those two up. Make sure you grab the right one. Each week I'll be giving you just a quick video on how, what you're doing for that week so that you can, you can be ready for it. Before I go into this week's specific activities. Let's look at some of the things. These links will help you as you're going through the week. Your class schedule here, the activities here, which we'll, we'll go back and forth between those in a minute. Google hang up and tweet up questions. I'll go to those in a minute also because they're part of your schedule for this week. Your projects, a list of all the projects, and we'll look at those. Discussion. Whenever you have something you want to ask the group about, use this discussion tab. I think I mentioned that in the introductory video because then we'll be able to find you. You could put it down here, but each page has its own discussion tab, so it's very hard to find people if we don't have a, an organized center spot. So use this one. And um, you'll, you'll want to get to know your classmates because we do a lot of projects in this class that you work with classmates on. And in fact, your project this week is. Then here is where you will assess how you're doing your work, what you've completed. You can click this link here. I think I always have, also have it. I guess not. Okay. It's on a different page. But you click this link here and it'll take you to this assessment. And I'll have everyone's name here by the time class starts on Monday. And you're going to tell me how you've finished your activities. So you're just going to fill it out. Week one goes this far, week two, week three. So this is how I'll grade you. And just check them off. You don't have to do anything other than just put an X there, just like I did here. So if I was, let's just go down here and X there, I did that, X there, I did that, and I just fill them in. That's all you're doing. The other thing I, I'm going to ask you to do is we need to plan on our Google Hangout and our tweet ups. So if you will vote in this poll and tell me what works for you, that would be great. And then I'll just see what times are best for people and, and that's when we'll do it. Okay, so let's go to our class schedule and we're looking at week one. So if you don't have a Google account, you need to set one up uh, with your Gmail. Make sure I get your Gmail so I can add you to the Google circle so I can easily find you for the Google Hangouts. You're going to have to activate your Google Plus account for that to happen. And um, communicate with each other through these accesses for this. If you have a Google Apps for Education, 
we may be able to use that. It depends upon how your school set it up or just set up a different one, a separate one for you for this, for other activities outside of your school. Okay, post a hello on Google Plus just so we know you all got there. If you don't have a Twitter account, set one up. Uh, it needs to be a professional one. This will only be for your teaching stream. It won't be things like you're going on vacation or your daughter's in a soccer game or anything like that. It's only going to be discussions of, of your teaching, be it tech teacher or fifth grade teacher or anything like that. So when you follow people, you want to follow all of your classmates in this class as well as me at uh, Ask a Tech Teacher and uh, on my Twitter stream. You'll want to follow all of us and then only post the things that relate to that. This is where, too, you'll be able to access our tweet ups. It's just through a hashtag. Okay. The, you'll all join the class wiki or you wouldn't be here. You want to make sure you've set up your class member page here. If you click class member page, you'll see your name there. And you want to put your Twitter handle, your G plus handle, and your blog right here for easy access. And then go to the page and fill out. I guess I need to fill mine out. Let's see if I filled sample out. Well, there's a sample of what it'll be. I'll get mine filled out for you. But this is what you'll fill out all of this activity here. So you'll um, just tell us. It won't take long. It's part of this week's activity. And then you'll have an easy way to find out about each other when you're looking for partners to do things. OK, back to our schedule. Then you're going to, once you've done all those introductory things, each week you're going to have a review of activities, the activity that's differentiating with audio and video. That's over here. So if I, I'm going to click that, and we'll go here, and differentiating with audio and video activities. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to look at, the, you're going to click through to the, the lesson plans. And the lesson plans, you can find them under the resources. So if I click, there's your lesson plans, Genius Hour and Presentation Boards, and then go to Resources and find Genius Hour and Presentation Boards right here. And you're going to find those as two lesson plans, which are geared towards your classroom. So review them with an eye towards using them to differentiate in your classroom. Two videos, which I think you only have to watch one of those, but I, I have it listed in the schedule. So when we go back there, we'll look. But you'll your videos, here they are. And the video stream is here. It's also on the, the This Week page. But if I click this stream, and I'm looking for video four and five. It brings up our MTI 563 class stream, and there's four and five. So those are the two videos you'll be watching. Just and these are all background information. This is where you're going to get your evidence for the questions you answer at the Google Hangout and for the project you do with your partner. Here's some of the web tools you can use when you do a partner with your a project with your partner, and you can look at these any of these. They all go to groups of lesson plans. So then I'll go back to the schedule and your project is collaborate with a classmate to compare contrast four web tools that the two of you use, two each. So you're going to go back here. You might have your own web tools and I'm perfectly fine with that. If you have some you love using in your class that are audio video sort of web tools, then Use those so we can all learn from your experience. You're going to be a lot more passionate about those tools than learning a brand new one you don't have that much background on. So I'm perfectly happy if you use those or use the ones I've listed in those links on the activities page. Develop the characteristics to evaluate the pros and cons together. And mostly, though, we want to know their usefulness in differentiating for student learning and communicating styles. So focus on that as you're evaluating these tools. Then you're going to complete a project and share it on your class, your digital portfolio, a completed project, either an embed or a screenshot or even a screencast. And so we can all use that as reference for learning those tools, for seeing what the projects look like. And then visit your classmates' digital portfolios on their class member pages. and. Add comments to their projects. Let them know what you thought. You use that tool also, or you'd love to use that tool. Now you're going to work with a classmate. So here you'll go back to the class member pages, 
and you'll find that classmate here. Go to their page, and on their page, they're going to have they're going to have how to contact them. Email. If you put the email there, the Gmail, that would be the easiest way to contact. But I know some people don't really want to use that. So some other way that's very easy so you can work with that person. Because at the Google Hangouts, you're going to talk about your project as a group. Okay, so then um, at the Google Hangouts, you're going to go to the questions that we've listed. And they are listed here, which is right, Google Hangouts and TweetUps. And here's our week one list of questions. How do you differentiate? Does it add extra time to your planning and why or why not? These two are from your experience. We all want to learn from each other. There's a reason why you're taking this class. It's either to expand on your knowledge or because what you are using doesn't work. So this is what we want to find out here. Then use the um, lesson plans you looked at in the activities and tell me why would Genius Hour help differentiate? Why would presentation boards help differentiate? And then screencast, discuss how giving your students screencasts helps with teaching. Now, I do a lot of those. If you go under skills, you'll find I have several screencasts. That's not one, but this embed is one. There's a couple from people on Google Hangouts, Google Citations, how to use Padlet. How, this is embedding it in the class internet start page. So I, I have examples there in tech. I love tech. So I have examples there you can look at, but you might have your own program you use. You might like Jing or some other program. Perfectly fine. I want to hear from your experience. We're all teaching each other. Then we're going to take some time for each of you with your partner to discuss your project. I want to know the pros and cons, how you see the tools you use, those four tools, differentiating for student needs. And um, be sure to use the evidence that you gain from your reading under the activities and from the project itself. Now, we've only got an hour for a Google Hangout, so your presentation is not going to be that long. So don't stress over it. It can be very casual, and um, it's five or ten minutes. Let me think. Yeah, that's probably about what it's going to be, not much more than that five or ten minutes and we'll all discuss it together at that point. Then I, I want to know if you have other audio and video web tools that you are excited about that you'd like to share with the class. So that's how we'll wrap that one up and, and then we're done. So you'll always find a list of questions there. So let's see, and that's it. That's week one. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send them my way. If you haven't used Google Hangouts before, then do go to Skills here and watch these videos on using a Google Hangout. Pretty much there's certain things you have to have ready. You have to have your Google Plus profile activated. You have to have your Gmail. I, I need your email, Gmail address so that when I invite you to the Google Hangout, I can reach you. I will give you the link for it, and it'll be on that Google Hangout and TweetUps page. But this will give you some more background. If you're that type of person who really wants to get more information, watch either of these or both of them. They're not very long, and they're all kind of clever. They, they show you that you don't have to be a pro to do these. You just have to be passionate. Questions? Feel free to ask me. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.